the 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 quick quick version mm-hmm. <laughs> of this this company, which is a new relatively new company, we've only been around for ten months now, mm-hmm. uh, is that you can instantly discover what your audience reads, watches, listens to, and follows. Cool. That's that's the short short version, and and the way we do that is we let you search a giant database of online profiles, mm-hmm. and you could say, for example, like, oh, I want to know what podcasts are popular with electricians in Canada. Mm-hmm. I want to know what YouTube channels um, fiction authors in Los Angeles subscribe to. I want to know um, what people who uh, use the word t-shirt and logo design in their bio uh, are talking about online so that I can go do better Facebook and Instagram ads to them. Mm-hmm. I, like all, all that stuff, all that type of data is available in SparkToro. And so, yeah, lots of people who do business development of all kinds, audience research of all kinds, persona development, and then lots of tactical stuff like I'm trying to optimize my Instagram ads or I'm trying to optimize my uh, digital PR and link building and outreach campaigns or yeah. I'm trying to uh, optimize my my ad spend and figure out which sources people pay attention to or contribute mm-hmm. guest editorials to the right places and pitch for events and sponsorship, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So, that's that's what Spark Toro is. It's um, thankfully it's shockingly easy to use. <laughs> so if someone is uh, looking for something on the outreach amplification side of things, and like here's a let's call it hypothetical at the moment uh, scenario, <clears throat> right? So if uh, I was going to be releasing a podcast and I didn't want to just stick with the normal kind of here's my audience, here's what it's always been, and so you know we do an interview one, so I bring on a I don't know. I bring on a Rand Fishkin, right? <laughs> and so, and I want to, you know, there's some small overlap, but it's generally probably a different audience and a different audience that's not only, you know, uh, who follows Rand, but also, you know, is into market research, right? Who's interested in kind of what Spark Toro does, would be interested in this general conversation. I want to go and reach a whole new bunch of people and engage them well so that they actually then spread the podcast as far as the eye can see and the ears can hear what's the what have you been seeing people use spark toro for and maybe some of the features like you know what sure. what is the yeah. thing that they would be doing if they want to have that kind of a goal in that kind of a scenario all right i got a really simple very direct one for you oh good so paul if i were in your shoes what i would do is i would go to spark toro and i would search for uh there's a, a few different ways to search, but I would search for my audience follows the social account at Randfish, okay. right? And then I would look for what are the other sources that that audience follows and pays attention to and where like, okay, cool. Look at that. Uh, the folk, like some of the people who follow Randfish are entrepreneurs and they tend to follow Indie VC. Ooh, Rand talked about Indie VC. Oh, he talked about Village Capital. He talked about ClearBank. Great, I'm gonna make an audiogram of that 30 seconds where we had that conversation about alternative forms of capital and those, you know, those several ones. I'm gonna put that out on Twitter and LinkedIn and I'm gonna tag all those companies and I'm gonna drop them a line, the people behind their social accounts a line and be like, hey, did you see this? Like people are talking about your stuff on here. If you want the audiogram to share on your own channel, I've got a Dropbox for you. I can't say for certain whether the people behind those social channels right. will go and amplify it, but is it a great way to get that connection and to make that thing? Absolutely, right? Mm-hmm. Because it, I'll tell you, like very frankly, if somebody goes on another podcast and the podcast host reaches out to me and is like, hey, this person talked about your startup, you know, SparkToro on this podcast, here's a short audiogram of them saying wonderful things about it. I'd be like, Pfft. You right. smash the like share button on yes, all the platforms, exactly. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, spread it out. So th- that that is definitely one way to go. Okay. Another thing that I'd probably do just for um, for safety's sake, I would also look at you know the five or six topics that we've discussed here today, mm-hmm. and I would plug those in as things people talk about or things that people have in their bio, and then I would go and take the hashtags and the um, uh, accounts that they follow. And I would probably ping a few of them that maybe I had a connection to and see if they wanted to share. And, uh, I would also use those, employ those hashtags, especially LinkedIn and Instagram and maybe, maybe Twitter and Facebook too. 
mm-hmm. uh, just to get the extra amplification that usually comes with hashtags. Nice. Okay. Well, I, I may try those exact things, or at least, yeah. you know, so, some, someone on the team here uh, is going to try team. those. <laughs> I'll send them this recording and they can figure that shit out from there. Hey, we're the first.